Suffixes are added to the end of words to change their meaning. For example, adding ed suffix changes a present tense verb into a past tense verb. For example, today I play, yesterday I played. Today we're learning the suffix asian. Asian changes a word from a verb, an action or doing word, into a noun, person, place or thing. For example, I will inform the police. Inform is a verb, an action. I gave information to the police. And now Hi, we're going to learn a bit of the English, English spelling rules, as we know the English spelling rules are all a bit crazy. And we're going to learn about what we need to do when a word ends in E before we add the Asian suffix. So I'm going to use the example starve. What do you think we need to do with the E before we add Asian? Sorry, Daniel. Yeah, that's right. We have to get rid of the E and add Asian. And it will now look like this. I'm flanking the soil, don't worry. Starvation. Oh, Ruth. So let's have a look I'm at like the word sure adore. To adore something, to love it a lot. How are we going to add Asian? That's right, we'll get rid of the E and the new word will be adoration, a noun, a thing. Well done. Can you have a go with the word sense, please? Have a go with the word sense. What are you going to do to the word sense? Good luck. Okay, let's try. What are the verbs for these nouns? Have a look at the first one, information. Yep, the word is inform. What about the adoration? The noun adoration, what's the verb? If you got a door, well done. Sensation to sense, fantastic. Preparation is prepare, fantastic. Admiration to admire, well done. What about starvation? Star, fantastic. Hesitation to hesitate, great. And finally, population to populate, well done.